A cabinet minister has fueled tensions in the EU trade talks by confirming that Boris Johnson will break international law to ensure a smooth Brexit. Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis angered Brussels officials and MPs by admitting a government bill to be published today, Wednesday, will breach the withdrawal agreement with the bloc, in a very specific and limited way. EU sources claimed the move could have huge consequences for the increasingly bitter negotiations over a UK-EU trade deal. MPs across the Commons including former Prime Minister Theresa May savaged the move last night. But Whitehall officials insisted the changes were necessary to prevent unforeseen and harmful legal consequences when the UK quits the EU's single market and customs union at the end of the year. Furious exchanges erupted yesterday over the Internal Market Bill, due to be published by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy today. It has been drafted to ensure goods can be freely transported without tariffs around the four parts of the UK after the end of the post-Brexit transition out of Brussels rules and regulations. Speaking to MPs, Mr Lewis admitted part of the bill will overwrite clauses in the Brexit withdrawal agreement designed to avoid a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. This does break international law in a very specific and limited way, the Northern Ireland Secretary said. The bill would disapply part of the treaty with the EU agreed last October in certain very tightly defined circumstances, he told the Commons. There are clear precedents of this for the UK and, indeed, other countries needing to consider their international obligations as circumstances change, the Northern Ireland Secretary added. Mr Lewis made his admission in reply to a question from senior Tory backbencher Sir Bob Neill. Any breach, or potential breach, of the international legal obligations we have entered into is unacceptable, regardless of whether it's in a specific or limited way, Sir Bob, chairman of the Commons Justice Committee, later said on Twitter. Mrs May made a rare Commons intervention to voice concerns about her successor's actions on the issue.